Welcome to Merit's video tutorial on the Bead Map Challenge. Thank you for helping us to ensure that Michigan's internet map is correct. In this video, I'll walk you through the full process to submit a correction to Michigan's Bead eligibility map. The final version of this map will determine what homes, businesses, and nonprofit organizations the state of Michigan will prioritize for internet infrastructure investment through the upcoming Broadband Equity Access and Deployment Grant Program. Later this year, internet service providers will compete to build and provide service to the locations prioritized by this map. Are you ready to fix the internet map? Let's get started. Before we go any further, you'll want to be sure you have what you need to submit your correction, what we call a map challenge. If you have an internet subscription at your home, business, or organization today, you may need to challenge the speeds your internet service provider claims to provide. For this speed challenge, you'll need to provide your internet service provider's name, the technology your internet service uses, such as DSL, cable internet, or fixed wireless. And to be clear, we're talking about the technology that brings the internet to your router or modem or gateway. Some users may have wireless or Wi-Fi router inside their home. So if you have cable internet to your house, but Wi-Fi inside, your technology in this process would be cable. The internet speeds promised at your subscription level is something you're going to need. Your subscription tier may be on your internet bill, your provider's website, or you may need to contact your provider to get this information. In order to start a speed challenge today, you also need to be on your desktop computer or laptop. And we want you to be as close as possible to the internet modem. This is especially important if you're using Wi-Fi inside your home. Our speed test only uses Google Chrome or Safari internet browsers and will not work properly on other internet browsers. So if you're not on one of those browsers right now, we encourage you to switch to Google Chrome or Safari and come back to this website. If you use a virtual private network, perhaps for remote work, please turn it off during the speed testing. And we also encourage you to turn sleep mode off while you are running the tests. So what if you don't have a subscription to the internet today? In that case, you'll be checking the Michigan map to see if any providers claim to offer service to your location. If the Michigan map says you could subscribe to internet service at your location, but in fact you cannot get service at that speed, you will want to submit an availability challenge. If you already have proof that internet service is not available, you'll want to submit this proof as evidence for your challenge. Keep your evidence handy as you proceed. You can see a short list of acceptable evidence to prove internet service is not available on this slide. For a more comprehensive list of evidence, please see the challenge details that will be on our main webpage. In fact, let's get started. The address you want to type in is merit.edu forward slash challenge. Please note that Merit is continuing to make improvements to our site to make it easier for Michigan residents to use. There may be some small differences between what you see in this video tutorial compared to the latest version. In this right-hand menu, you can find details on the availability and speed challenges, and we also have a frequently asked questions. You'll also want to note the link down here, contact us for support, which will generate an email to our support team. So let's get started by clicking here to start the challenge. You'll want to wait until you see this green check mark show up in the lower left hand corner. This validates the security of your connection. Now let's get started. On the second screen, you'll see a link to this video tutorial that you're watching. After you complete the tutorial, please click continue. Now it's time to type in the address where you'll be taking the challenge. As you type your address in, it should populate in the box below. However, if it doesn't, or if the words no data available pop up, please contact us by clicking contact us for support over in the right hand menu. It may be that your address is slightly different in our database and we want to ensure that you have the right address so that we can complete the challenge. Let's click continue. 
Now we have a viewer that lets us look at the Michigan broadband map that is created by the State Broadband Office. One of the first things you'll notice on the map is the yellow pin drop at the location that you typed in. You'll also see that your address has populated over here on the left hand side. There are two pieces of information on this map that are most likely to be incorrect. One of them is your location's internet availability status and the other is the internet speeds that providers claim to offer to your location. First, notice the color of the dot representing your location. Here is the legend for those colors. Green means your location is served with high-speed internet. Yellow means that the state of Michigan has information indicating that your speeds do not meet the needs of most modern users, so you are considered underserved. Red indicates that any internet service available at your location is very slow or there may be no internet service available at all so it is considered unserved. You can also see your status color over here underneath your address information. In this section of the page we can see the providers listed who claim to offer high-speed internet at your location. If you have a current subscription Notice the maximum speed that your provider claims to offer to your home. Keep in mind that this maximum speed may be a higher subscription tier than you currently have. Before we move on in this process, you need to determine if the information listed on the state map is correct. If it's not correct, you can submit evidence for a map challenge on the next screen. If your availability status is showing as red, the map is likely correct and no further action is needed. If your availability status is showing as yellow and an internet service provider is listed, but you know you cannot receive this service or speed at your location, this is an availability challenge. The service that is claimed is not available at your location. If your availability status is showing as green and you currently have a subscription to one of the providers that is listed on this page, but your internet is still slow, you have a speed test challenge. If you think you might have slow speeds but you're not sure what counts as slow, you can check your speed a little bit later in our speed test process. If you need more information to help you decide which type of challenge to submit, you can visit the FAQ in the right-hand menu. Let's continue. Now it's time to select the type of challenge you want to submit. If the information you reviewed on the Michigan Internet map was correct, you may not need to challenge the map. If this is the case, click Close. If you've decided to challenge availability, you can click this first option and then Continue. If your internet is slow or slower than what you pay for, click the second option. If you have another concern, you can select this third option to go to the Michigan government's page. If you have additional questions, you may find them answered by hovering over this I within the circle. Or you could look at the FAQ in the right-hand menu. We will start by walking through an availability challenge. On the Availability Challenge screen, you'll be asked to enter some information, including your first and last name, email address, the provider that claims to service your address, and the technology type that they claim to offer. On the second part of the screen, we'll be uploading evidence to prove that this service that is claimed by the provider is not actually available to you at this location. Here you'll see a list of different types of acceptable evidence. If you have additional questions, they may be in the challenge details over in the right-hand menu. You'll click here to upload your file. You may need to navigate through your system files to choose the right evidence file. You'll also be prompted to fill in this checkbox, agreeing that you allow Merit to send information on your behalf. Then click Submit. Now let's walk through the process of participating in a speed and latency challenge. We'll click Speed slash Latency and continue. On the Speed and Latency page, you'll be asked 
to check boxes agreeing that you're on your desktop computer and not a mobile device, that you're using one of the required internet browsers, that you're willing to download the speed test software as part of your internet browser. If you use a virtual private network for work, you'll turn it off, and that your computer is as close as possible to your internet router, which is particularly important if you're using Wi-Fi in your home or business. Finally, we have a couple things to agree to here. That Merit can use your information to submit a challenge on your behalf. That what you're entering into this form is accurate and truthful. And that you agree with the MLAB privacy policy. If you have questions about any of these, you can see by hovering over the I next to the statement, there's additional information about each one. Let's scroll down to the second half of the screen. Here you'll see that we're asked to enter your name, your email address, and some information about your property type, and the internet service provider to which you have a subscription today as well as the technology that is used to deliver it to your home. Finally, we do need to enter the speeds that you subscribe to at your location. If you don't have that handy, it may be on your provider bill, or you can contact your provider for details. After your information is entered, click the Continue button. There are two more steps to finish your speed challenge. The first is to click this Run Speed Test button. And be sure to keep your window open while the speed test is running. After your speed test is complete, click the Next button. You'll see that you have a red security code that's provided. You can click these double rectangle icon in order to copy that security code into your clipboard, because you're going to need it in just a moment. Our browser extension will take a speed test once a day during the hours indicated on the screen. Now you're asked to download a browser extension. A browser extension is an extra piece of software that enables your browser to take specific actions. If you use Apple Safari, you can click the first link. Or if you're using Google Chrome, click the second. I'll click the Finish button here. And here's another opportunity for us to copy that security code. We will also send an email to you after you've completed this speed test, and you'll have that security code in the email. Our final screen shows information about how long the testing will continue and between what times. There are also instructions on how to uninstall the extension if you desire to do so. Now we can click the Close button. Your data is now fully submitted. Merit will take this data and send it to the state of Michigan in order to correct the map. If you still have questions or need help, please email challenge at merit.edu for help. Thank you for watching and helping us to improve internet access in the state of Michigan.